that, we'll start with Charlie. He has his hand up first. Hey, Will. Um, you're now the all-time leader in points scored here at UA. Just what did that mean to you, and is that maybe a goal that you had coming in? Um, it definitely means a lot. Uh, it's definitely a goal that I had coming in. Uh, but it's not just a testament to me. There's a lot of guys that helped me out, um, definitely with that success. And it's not just an accolade for me. It's an accolade for everyone that's ever snapped and held for me. Um, you know, Thomas Fletcher kind of started it off uh, with Tua and Mac. And then, you know, we've had a bunch of guys uh, since I've been here that's held for me, Paul and James, Charlie Scott for a little bit. So, um, you know, they did an outstanding job making my job easier. And, you know, everyone that's ever blocked for me Big testament to them as well. They've done a fantastic job. So, um, big appreciation for them as well. Do you have a process before the kick? Like, what's your your operation when you're heading out to the field? Um, you know, a lot of the times I'll you know test the wind, see what the wind's looking like, and then um, I do a lot of visualization. Uh, you know, the night before the games, and then as well as. You know, running out onto the field, you know, just seeing myself in my brain, you know, making the kick, I think, helps a lot as well. Um, you know, the Saturday Senior Day, but also Iron Bowl game. Just can you talk to me how special that is for you and how excited you are for this weekend? Yep. I mean, obviously, I grew up in Alabama, so I know how big it is, um, you know, to everybody in the state of Alabama. Um, you know, I think our, our entire team knows, you know, how important it is, you know, to our fans, but it's also really important to us. Um, so I'm really excited. You know, we're really excited to go out there and, and you know and play and try to get the win. Just how are you approaching the possibility of this being your final game, and what decisions might come beyond that? Um, you know, we still have you know the Iron Bowl and then a bowl game, obviously. So, and that's not you know anywhere near my mind right now. You know, I'm focused on you know doing what I can to help our team win this weekend. Growing up in Alabama, do you have a favorite Iron Bowl memory or memory that sticks out? Um, not really. I mean, I honestly didn't grow up an Alabama fan. You know, obviously I grew up watching the Iron Bowl. It's, you know, the, one of the biggest, if not the biggest rivalries in college football. So, um, you know, I don't really have a favorite memory uh, besides since when I've been playing here. Come back over here to Nick and Charlie. Hey. <laughs> I guess to when, who did you grow up rooting for? Um, I actually grew up a big Tim Tebow fan. Uh, my dad was from Florida, uh, so we grew up Florida fans. And then, you know, kind of when I got into middle school, you know, figured I might have a chance to play somewhere. So, you know, I didn't really go for anybody at that point and just kept my options open. And then what's really been working for you these last four games? You've, I think you're 12 for 12 on kicks, a lot of high-pressure kicks. Have you maybe noticed a, a difference, or has it just been like a groove that you're in? Um, you know, I think really my mindset's always been just one kick at a time. I mean, I don't. Like I said, you know, when I talk to y'all in fall camp, um, you know, whether it's a good or a bad kick, I always move on to the next to the next one. I think that's helped me um, through the highs and the lows. You know, to be able to bounce back from a missed kick and to continue to, you know, put consecutive kicks in a row, I think that's important to just take it one kick at a time. Yeah, Coach Saban uh, has mentioned, you know, your perfect season multiple times. He's sung your praises multiple times. What is it like having uh, Coach Saban? Um, I guess praise you this much and, and be such a big fan of yours. Um, it's been outstanding. You know, I honestly didn't think that it was gonna, you know, that he would say those type of things. But it's definitely an honor. I mean, you know, obviously he's the greatest coach of all time. So anytime you know he can praise somebody, it's obviously means a lot uh, coming to, from a player. We got a follow up. We'll finish over with Michael. As the kicker, is there, is there any evolution in in your your technique or style, or is there? Anything do you pick up over the years, or is it pretty much the same thing? You just try to perfect, you know, with repetition. Um, yeah, there's definitely a bunch of different styles, uh, you know, different kickers, and everybody's kind of, you know, unique in their own way. Everybody does, you know, different things, um, just the way that people's bodies are made and stuff like that. But there's definitely things that you can pick up from, you know, guys that are doing at an elite level in the NFL um, that I, you know, watch and study, and I'm sure. To, Kickers all over the country are doing as well. Um, so you definitely can learn from guys that are, you know, really successful. Uh, Justin Tucker, I mean, he's the greatest of all time. So it's hard not to, to look at a guy like that and try to, you know, take things away from his game. All right, Will. Thank you. Thank you all.